Today's lesson is going to be about color emphasis. We're going to go over the selection tools. Let me double let me do that. We're going to go over some of the selection tools and then how you can make one area of an image in color while the rest is not. It's called color emphasis, meaning that there's a focal point on the part of the image that is in color. I started by finding an image where there is something identifiable that I can take out from the background. Um, in this particular one, there's quite a depth of field, meaning that my foreground, the image I'm going to be selecting, is very clear and the background's blurry. Your image could have, could have any variation of, of these types of effects. You want to be able to see something there that we can pull out and become the emphasis of our piece. I'm going to start by taking my quick selection tool and painting over the area of the image that I want to create my emphasis on or the color part of the one the part of the image that I want to keep in color. So I want to try to get a really good selection here so I'm going kind of slowly. Notice that my my quick selection tool is pretty small. If I wanted to make it bigger I could do it up here in the tool in the options bar or I can use the brackets next to the letter P. That's like one of the best shortcuts um, to increasing the file I'm sorry, increasing the brush size. Um, Photoshop is pretty smart here and then it's picking up as much as the image as it can. It's looking for contrast and, and changes in color that are there. Um, I'm going to zoom in. I'm using my navigator here. I'm going to zoom in because I missed a little portion right here. I can use this little bar to kind of move myself around there. Um, I'm going to get my brush a lot smaller and I'm going to switch to the minus here to fine tune that selection. So I'm fine tuning this selection so that I can um, I, there's some areas I need to add to so I can add to by using the plus there and I just want to get a great selection there before I even begin anything else. It all starts with a good selection. I'm going to switch over to the lasso tool and um, if you remember the keyboard shortcut um, option is alt. Option alt subtracts from a selection. This is a great way to really get in there and fine tune. Um, there's a better there's an even better way to fine tune a selection using masking but um for for the portion of this we're just going to do it like along that line all right i missed a part right here so i'm going to go zoom in kind of zoom in by the the head here shift adds to a selection alt subtracts i kind of make a little loop and i just added to it let me add this part here okay so uh, you get the idea i'm um, for demonstration's sake i'm going to move on I'm going to switch to my move tool. Now I have the parrot selected. So there's there's a few things that I can do to create this as the color emphasis. I'm actually going to go to the select menu and I'm going to choose select inverse, which is opposite. Now this is everything outside of the parrot. So everything outside of the parrot now is now selected. So this means that I could use I could use a bunch of different ways to kind of turn this black and white. I can use my desaturate tool with a sponge. I could sponge and then desaturate. Let me turn this up to 100% and then brush over over this background and that's one way to kind of make it black and white right I take a few turns to kind of to make it go there's better ways to do this um, something else I could do is I could go to my um, color replacement tool and I could take a black a color here black let me make my brush a little bit bigger that's another way to turn the background black and white right now this tool kind of works with picking up different color variations so there's even a better way to do it I'm gonna go to the image menu and I'm gonna go to adjustments and I want to choose black and white so by just clicking on that there, it cre it kind of made my background black and white. Now I can tweak it here so I can adjust the black and white so the background had greens in it. So if I go up, let's see how it's kind of lightening up if I wanted my background to be lighter or if I want it to be darker, depending. Now, see how I did that brush? So it's kind of creating a little bit of a funky edge there where the brush was. Um, so I would choose one or the other when kind of choosing one of these effects. I could also tint my background here, right? So this is another way and I could kind of choose the color that I want to tint it with. Um, Maybe I want to choose, and I'm still creating a color emphasis. So saturation is how much color is there, but I could just give it a little hint of that color if I wanted to. Let me go ahead and hit OK. So at its basic form, this piece could be complete, but I want to kind of, I want to beef it up a little bit. I'm do some cool stuff. So I'm going to go and I'm going to switch over to my, um, my brush tools. And maybe I want to use my brush tools and I can paint now into the background, right? I'm painting into the background behind this pair. And I'm actually going to, I wonder if I blanked it all out even. I blinked it all out. Um, I'm going to go to my brush tool again. Remember, these are the different brush tools. I have some that I've downloaded. They're going to be down here at the bottom. I've got these cool splatters um, that I got off brushking.eu. I love the brushking.eu. Um, I'm going to use the brackets next to the letter P and make that brush a little bit smaller. If I wanted to vary the brush at all, I could go to the brushes panel. I could rotate the brush. 
if I wanted to see the brush like all alone, I could pull that out a little bit so I could see what that looks like. If I want to angle it so it's going to do about that. Okay, great. I could change the size of the brush here. I could flip it, right, horizontal and vertically. And so let's say uh, I'm good with that. I want to paint with white, so I'm going to go to my default and flip white to the front. And now I've got that brush, right? Oh, what happened to my brush? My brush had disappeared. All right. So there we go. I just kind of laid the brush in there. Um, there we go. I got my stuffs back. Kind of laid the brush in there. It's still creating an emphasis on the parrot itself, right? But I've kind of created some kind of cool background here. Now, something else you can do when you have portions of the image selection selected and not selected is I can put filters on it. So what if I went and I put a filter on this? This zooms out if you're too zoomed in. I've got a lot of different filter options in here. I could play around here. I can experiment with different, what that looks like in different, I don't want it to be too textured. I want to leave it kind of simplistic. Let's bring that, I'll get rid of that green color that's there. So maybe I want to do something like that. I could even now, I can add more brushes into here, but I could, uh, something else I could do that's very cool is I can go and flip again, select inverse. Now I flipped back to the bird. And I'm going to beef up the colors of the bird even more. So I'm going to go image, um, I'm going to try image adjustments. I love this one, hue saturation, right? This is going to, I could change the colors completely, right? Maybe completely change the colors of that bird. And that would be kind of a cool effect to play with as well. So maybe I change the colors of the bird there. And then um, another, let me go again, select inverse, flip it back to the background again. I'm going to take that paintbrush. I want to pick up the color. Let me pick up this color, color green that's there. Or I could pick up the color red. See how it's coloring, changing my color down there in the foreground. And um, I'm going to take my brush again. Let me pick a different brush, but in the same vein, like in the same family. And what if I use that brush? Let me brush is really, really big. Let me size it down a little bit. There it is. Um, let me use Size it up. Now, you can't change the size of your brush when you have this panel open, so i got to get rid of that bad boy. Don't want you there. Okay, there we go. I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger. Now, when I go to brush, I'm going to lay that red color in there to get kind of in, in, expand upon the, the layer of the parrot that's there. So, in, in a kind of a crazy graphic design -y way, I did a color emphasis piece by selecting this, the shape, the foreground object, or the emphasized object, and then experimenting with inverting the selection to move to the background to put different effects, and then inverting back again to come back to the bird. Okay, thanks for watching.